Hey, so I've been getting some questions about how I use plugin presets, visual metronome, and MPC IDs to make Tav easier because I've been bragging about it for a while. Uh, it makes 5 tick Zarpus easier, P2 Verzik scythe walking, and P3 1 tick tanking Verzik. It makes all those so much easier. And honestly, I think it helps learn the raid a lot, e a lot better. And then later you can turn these off and just run it however you like based off feel. It just makes it a lot easier to pick up. So we're going to use these plugin presets to swap what config we're using for visual metronome. Uh, you basically just use hotkeys to swap between different configurations for that plugin. All the other plugins I keep the same. Uh, I use control three to turn off the plugin. I use control four to go to the four tick cycle and I use control five for the seven tick cycle. You can use whatever hotkeys you'd like. These are just what's most comfortable for me. Here's the full configurations for the presets. We don't need to get into all this now. I'll put a link to them in the description. The big takeaway here is that the four tick cycle is yellow and the seven tick cycle is green. This allows me to know which configuration is currently active. Am I on the four tick cycle or am I on the seven tick cycle? Because I just see the number three. If it's yellow, I know it's four tick. If it's green, I know I'm on the seven tick. My hot key to restart the tick cycle is always the V key, but you can set it to whatever feels comfortable. That's just what I like to use. Um, and then also make sure under the Tob quality of life plugin that you have the room timer for Zarpa set to on. Next, I'm going to show you how to use these timers. First, we're going to check out Zarpus. When I leave Soda's egg, that's a good time to turn on the four tick cycle with control four. And then before I enter Zarpus, I sync my visual metronome with the actual room time. I do this by pressing the hotkey. Like I said before, mine is V. I press this when the timer hits zero on the room time. Typically, this forces Zarpus to spawn on tick one in the cycle. Step back for Zarpus is always two ticks after Zarpus becomes attackable. This means that when we're synced up with the room timer, typically step back should be on three. Sometimes I found it to not really sync up and it'll be a random different number. I tend to just see when Zarpus spawns and add two ticks. It really helps to see if you only mark Zarpus's active NPC ID instead of the NPC Zarpus himself. You can see when he becomes attackable very easily this way. For Verzik, just pay attention to the tick that you step back on. I again marked Verzik's active NPC ID instead of her as an entire NPC. You can see here that my step back is the very first tick. So I step back on one. This remains the same during reds as well. I'll just let the clip play and you can see that it's very consistent. You just click back on one and that's all there is to it. For one tick tanking during P3, I'll press control five to swap to a seven tick cycle right when I'm done scythe walking P2. Remember that the seven tick cycle will show up as green. We don't need to sync this timer in any way. All we're going to do here is we scythe swing three times and immediately upon that third swing, we walk under and then we're on tick for tanking. That tick that you walked under is now the tick you will walk under every time because Verzik attacks in a seven tick cycle. And that's it. That's the trick with visual metronome, plugin presets, and NPC IDs. I'll let the clip play me out, and I'll put some more info in the description if you need some help.